How about this one? Uh, f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. Well, first I want to find the vertex. Well, but this is not in standard form. Well, I could complete the square, but why bother? I just know the formula. The formula for finding the vertex is going to be what? Well, remember, it's negative b all over 2a. That gives me the x value. And then to get the y value, I just plug in. So what is negative b over 2a? Well, that's going to be negative negative 2, so that's just 2, all divided by 2 times an invisible 1, so that's 2. So in fact, that equals 1. Great. So the, the vertex is going to happen when x equals 1. And what's the y value? So this is the x value at the vertex. And what's the y value? I just plug in that value into the function. And so I see 1 minus 2. That's going to be a negative 1 plus 3 is going to be a 2. So I see the vertex is located at 1, 2. So if I were to sketch this, I see at 1 and then 1, 2, that's the vertex. Now, is this a happy face parabola or a sad face? Well, I see that the coefficient in front of the x squared is positive. It's an invisible plus 1. So in fact, I know this parabola is going to go up. So in fact, if you think about it, if the parabola is going to go up, then I know there can't be any x-intercept at all. Right? How could I go up and then cross this line? So in fact, this actually, if you set this equal to 0 and solved, it would have no real solutions. It would have no real solutions because it never crosses this line. So you might want another anchor point, a really easy anchor point, by the way, is just to see what happens when x equals 0. That's really easy to plug in. Just let x be 0. Usually just terms drop out. Drop out, drop out, we get 3. So in fact, we see this is 3. So at 0, when x equals 0, I go 1, 2, 3. Well, that makes sense because I have to go up now. And in fact, we get a point for free. Can you see which point we get for free? Since the, the 0 was one unit over from this axis of symmetry, that means that one unit over here, which is 2, what do you think the value of the function should be at 2? Well, by symmetry, it should be the same thing here. It should be 3. So now i got some anchor points, and I can plot away. And I see a parabola that looks like that. So there's a really accurate sketch of this parabola. You can see it doesn't cross this line. Neat. OK, let's try one last one together. In fact, you know what? Let me give you a shot to actually do this on your own. So suppose f of x equals minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And what I'd like for you to do is to make an accurate sketch of this by first finding the vertex, and then next uh, finding the um, the x-intercepts. So this will take a little bit of time, but it's really worth doing once, and I'll do it, and then you can see how close you are. So give it a shot, and we'll see how it goes. OK, well, let me see if I can do it now. The first thing I'm going to do is find the vertex. So the x part is going to be negative b over 2a. So let's see, negative b is going to be minus 5 divided by 2a. So that's going to be 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. And so I see here 5 fourths. So that's the x value of the vertex. How do I find the y value? Well, I plug this into f. So this is going to be a little bit of work. So I see negative 2 times 5 fourths squared. That's 25 over 16. And then I add to that 5 times 5 fourths. So that's 25 over 4 and then plus 3. And now you have to sort of work this out. So you have to cancel here a little bit and get a common denominator. And if you do that carefully, I think you see 49 over 8. The common denominator is going to be 8. That you can see, because I can cancel a little bit here. This becomes an 8, and that just cancels out. So I have a minus 25 over 8. And then to make this the same thing, I need to multiply top and bottom through by 2. So that's 50 over 8. 50 over 8 minus 25 over 8 is just 25 over 8. And then you add 3, and you get this. OK, and what is this roughly? Just so we get a sense of what this is, this is uh, 6 and an eighth. So the vertex is going to be at 5 fourths, comma, 6 and 1 eighth. 
Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at this and see if we can make some progress here. So 5 fourths is just 1 and a fourth. So let me put some things here. 1, 2, 3. So 1 and then a fourth. So that's half of a half. So it's right here. And then I go all the way up to 6 and an eighth. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 6 and a little teeny bit. So it's right around here. That's the vertex. Actually, a really easy point to plug in, like I said before, is just to see when x is 0, what's the y-intercept. If x is 0, that goes away, that goes away, and it's left with 3. So when x equals 0, I have 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to pass through this point. Oops, I'm going to pass through this point. OK. And then I asked you to find the, the x-intercept, so you have to set that equal to 0 and solve. So if you set that equal to 0 and solve, let's just do that here on the side here. So I have minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. You want to factor that. Some people get a little bit queasy having that negative sign there. If you're one of those people, just factor it out and deal with the negative sign at the end of the day. I'll do that just to show you how it would look. So I'm factoring that negative sign out of everything. You see how all the signs flipped? But now I have that just a positive 2x squared, so I can factor with ease, hopefully. Time will tell, of course. So let's see, I'm going to put a, gee, my pen is getting so sad. I'm going to put a 2x here and x here. And let's see, I want the signs to be uh, opposite. So I'm going to put a plus and a minus somewhere. And let's see how I'm going to do that. They got to take a product to be 3, and I got to combine to give 5, and I got that 2 there. So I got to be really careful how I do this. What if I put a plus and a minus and put the 3 here and the 1 here? Then I get a negative 6x plus an x is a negative 5x. And this times that's negative 3. It looks good. So now I solve this. Well, I could divide through by the negative 1, so the negative sign doesn't matter. Either this is 0 or that's 0. If this is 0, I see that x has to equal negative 1 half. And if this is 0, I see x has to equal 3. And so I see that there are two intercepts, which is good. And I see 1 is at minus 1 half. So let's put that in. So here's, oops, here's, let's say, minus 1. So it's minus a half. It's right here. And the other one's at 3. 1, 2, 3. And you can see that it looks pretty symmetric right around this line. So this is looking good. And now we can put in this parabola. And again, you'll notice it's a, down, it's a sad face parabola, not surprising. And that 2 means it's a tight parabola. And you can see, even in my picture, it looks pretty tight. It's a pretty tight parabola. So you can get actually amazing accuracy in graphing just by finding the vertex and seeing if you can find actually the intercepts if it's not too hard. The y-intercept is always easy because all you've got to do is just let x be 0 and see what you're left with. That's an easy point. And all of a sudden, you can start graphing amazing parabolas.